Hi guys, welcome! Do you remember our Archer Minori in our previous first job in 17 minutes video? Well, she's back and I'll be showing you how I got her from level 11 to 44 in less than 10 hours. I'll be giving 10 steps as to what to do, which quest to prioritize, where to go, and some do's and don'ts. These steps are exactly what I did to achieve the second job change as fast as I could. Of course, this may or may not work with other people's playstyle as some players would like to farm Zenny as they go along. However, if you're interested to see how to level up quickly, please keep on watching. Time start is 12.24. Step 1. Do the Prentera West quest. Let's start off our adventure in the Prentera West gate. Begin by talking to Aslan. He will then ask you to talk to other NPCs which will trigger the chain of Prentera Westgate quest. Go ahead and follow all the red quests. I'll speed through the quests and will not identify each step in detail as that would make this a 2 hour boring video. Instead, I'll show you guys where to start the quest and what to do after that set of quests. As a tip, always utilize the quest sidebar to stay on top of what's the next step for each quest. As I mentioned in our top 10 Yubi Tips video, the key to leveling up early on in the game is to prioritize your main quests. Your main quests are the ones shown in the map with the red exclamation mark and will mainly be doing this all throughout the video. Also, my friend Hanako will be accompanying me. Doing quests will be much faster if you are in a party, so in my case, I completed some of my quests with the help of a friend that's also doing the same quest. Just to be clear, there's definitely no boosting or leeching involved in this video. Continue on doing all the quests until you're left with the ones directing you to go back to Prentera. At that point, you would have completed Aslan's quest and you will now be able to unlock the mission board. It's important to unlock and do the mission board quest as this gives a significant amount of experience. Step 2. Accomplish the Capital Sewer Quest Go ahead and talk to the rest of the Prentera NPCs in your quest. This will lead you to talk to Eric near the Guild Hall which will unlock our next set of quests in the Capital Sewer. As you arrive in the sewer, also talk to Anna, the sewer guard, for more sewer quests. Even though this is not a red main quest, it's still worth completing for the EXP bonus at the end. Again, complete all the quests until you're left with the ones asking you to go back to Prentera. Step number 3. Complete the Prentera Minstrel Quest Once you're back in Prentera, submit your quest and go to this guy right here. The Minstrel will ask us to get him items and kill monsters in exchange of EXP, Zenny, and items. There's a Minstrel in different major cities so keep an eye out for their quest. The Prentera one will ask us to kill 300 yo-yos, willows, and rockers. Again, this is where your party mate will come in handy and help you finish the quest faster. After finishing the minstrel quest, if there are new main quests in Prontera, go ahead and do those as well. In addition, don't forget about the mission board quest. I did those until I reached level 22, and at that level, you will be able to unlock the monster resistance quest. Monster Resistance will give you 10 times experience when killing monsters. Again, this is very important. You can get 2 of these daily and will greatly improve our leveling up. Time check, it's now 14.25. It's been 2 hours and we now have gained 12 base levels. Step number 4, do the Islud quest. At level 23, main quest from Eric near the guild hall will be available which will lead us to our next location. Is loot. Again, just go ahead and follow the quest until it leads us to the sunken ship. Once there, take the red quest. Note that we already have our monster resistance activated. We are now gaining 10 times experience from monsters as we complete our quest. Alright, as I finish the sunken ship quest, I reach level 25. At level 25, the Islud Minstrel quest will become available. 
He will then ask us to purchase two blueprints. In case you won't have enough Eden coins to purchase the two blueprints and can only purchase one, don't worry as finishing the quest will give enough Eden coins to buy the other blueprint. The minstrel will ask us to defeat 300 skeletons, frogs, and poison spores. Continue on with the minstrel quest. As a tip, when you submit the minstrel's quest, the minstrel will ask for items which we may not have enough of. The easy way to get these items is through the exchange function. Instead of farming, we are saving time by just buying the required loot. Again, our goal is to level up and not to get rich on Zenny. Alright, going back, defeating monsters combined with the bonus EXP from the monster resistance will for sure land us at level 27, which will unlock the second floor quest of the second ship. Talk to Edis and just continue to follow the series of tasks. Once you're done with these and the minstrel quest, this is around the time you will then land at level 30 which will unlock the Bialan quest. Step number 5, take on the Bialan quest. The Bialan quest will start by talking to Brenna. This will lead you to the underwater cave where you'll complete quests which involve defeating Hydras, Marinas, Tharafrogs, and Vadans. The series of quests will culminate by defeating the Shadow of Strauf. You will then be given a butterfly wing to go ahead and submit your quest. Time check, it's now 16.54. We are now 4.5 hours in and at level 32. Just a few more levels to go. Step number 6, Boost EXP Farming. Upon submitting our quest at the Guild Hall, our next set of quests will be unlocked at level 35. At this point, we have now run out of main quests and we have the option to grind. Since the archer has an AoE skill, I went to grind at the Pion Cave. Now, the usual mobs here are at level 60 plus. But at the end of the cave, there's actually a cluster of Hydras. Hydras are only level 23, but since they're all so close together, you can hit multiple Hydras with one AoE skill cast. Combined with the Lightning Chain, the EXP gain is pretty decent. As a side note, our character currently has extra combat time transferred from the previous days. This is important to note since the lightning chain burns combat time much faster. Thus, having extra combat time gives her leeway to gain more experience whilst on the lightning chain. Continue to grind until level 35. Step number 7. Accomplish the Geffen Quest Alright, once we reach level 35, the Geffen's Crisis quest will be unlocked. Go ahead and talk to the NPCs. But before leaving for the Goblin Forest, make sure to get the Geffen Minstrel quest as well. The Geffen Minstrel will ask us to defeat 300 Goblin Axe, Goblin Archers, and Steam Goblins. Now we're all set. Go ahead and complete the series of Geffen's Crisis quests first, which will involve flying in a magic carpet, transforming into a goblin, and defeating the fake king. Afterwards, finish the rest of the minstrel task. Doing so will land us at level 40 where we can unlock the Molnir quest and the next set of minstrel quests. Just note that currently we are at base level 40. However, the job change will be based on your job level, not the base level. To give an estimate, you'll be at job level 40 when you're at about base level 43 to 44. Step number 8, do the Molnir quest. Time check, it's now 2038 and we are now 8 hours in. Now that we are at level 40, we have the option to either go for the Molnir quest or the Minstrel quest. Since the Minstrel will ask to kill a total of 900 monsters, I opted for the Molnir quest instead since this is a series of shorter quests with pretty decent EXP rewards. Once in the Molnir Mountains, you'll complete a series of quests which will involve defeating Hornets, Menblets, Argyopes, and Floras. Step number 9, the final grind. Okay, we're so, so, so close. At this point, after we're done with the Molnir quest, I opted to go back to the Hydras at the Pion Cave. Even though I'm already at base level 43, the experience is still pretty decent. 
Plus, the beauty of it is that we can leave it on auto attack while we take a break from all the questing. I mean, it has been 9 hours so I think we deserve a break. You can of course leave it farming until you get to job level 40, but just so it wouldn't be so anticlimactic, I went ahead and did the true friendship quest in the Sograt Desert. And finally, completing this quest brought Minori to the much-awaited job level 40. The job changed quest to Hunter is already on our quest sidebar. Time check is now 21.53 and now there's only one last thing to do. Step number 10, change to your second job. Go to the adventure hall to start a job change quest for your respective job classes. I'll have Minori's Hunter job change quest linked down below. All in all, I finished Minori's job change quest at 22.08 p.m., which is exactly 9 hours and 44 minutes. I hope this video was helpful in giving tips on which quest to take, where to go, and what to do in order to level up pretty quickly. Again, it's not a requirement that you should level up fast. If you like to take it nice and slow and maybe prioritize zenny farming, it's all good, it's all up to you, it's all just for fun anyway. But the point of this video is to show that it is in fact possible to level up quickly for those who are interested. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so so much for watching and see you in our next episode.